Okay, hey, it's me again, back with a, another video. So, I wanted to talk about who else knows what Diddy was up to. So, uh, I don't know at this moment or not if Diddy has been, I guess, captured at this point. Because I know um, after they raided his house, they said he flew out to some other country and they got to his kids. And it's funny, too, because uh, I think they sent their... His son has been arrested on some charge or some kind of, uh, how would I say? I don't want you two to give me in the first minute. Let's just say uh, certain trafficking of female individuals and possibly male individuals as well. And I'm not surprised because, uh, let me, before I get off track, let me just make this one point. Diddy's son, one of the biggest posers I've ever seen. Just this skinny kid who acts like he is really doing the things his dad does and he's basically just a carbon clone of his dad and he has a woman with a completely fake body uh man i'm gonna just tell you now that women with fake bodies it's one thing to kind of like live out your fantasies but it, it don't don't wipe them because because it's, it's it's low key uh it's fruity it's fruity because they they basically have things that other men can really trick you with like really if, if another we all know if a we all know when a woman's a man for the most part right and if you notice a lot of times when women get fake bodies to a degree we actually start to question is that a man and the reason we do that is because it's just not natural in general to have a really fake body so it's not natural for a man to look like a woman, but it's also not natural for a woman to have super hyper exaggerated features from surgery. It's one thing for her to have a stupid big donk and a small waist naturally, you know, that just, it feels natural, it looks natural. I wouldn't know if it feels natural. I've never been with a girl like that, but when it, when it comes to them just, you know, getting that silicone or that, or that concrete half the time or whatever they put in there, no. But let's get back to Diddy. So I wanted to bring up the question because not enough people, especially in the media, bring up the real question of who else knew what Diddy was up to? Because see, the thing is, this is the thing. Diddy is one of the biggest stars in all of hip hop. He is a mogul. He is, his net worth reached a billion. I think before Jay-Z's reached a billion. He, he has hits. He's sung on hits. It doesn't matter if he wrote anything because I wouldn't be surprised if he could write at all. But, you know, he is one of those guys. And he has partied with pretty much every celebrity in Hollywood. And he's been around everyone. You know, he, he basically helped reared up uh, Usher. You know, there was that one video where he said he hung out with Justin Bieber. when He was like a teenager for two days. And there's another video that I wanted to highlight too, for the most part, is uh, when LeBron James said, ain't no party like a Diddy party. See, LeBron is also a billionaire net worth black man and so-called black man. And for him to say that lets you know that Diddy's parties are crazy. But see, it makes me really look at LeBron a certain way because this is the thing. Everyone, we all look at LeBron and Savannah James as if like they're the most magnificent couple out there. And I will admit, they they when it comes to celebrity couples, well, not celebrity because she isn't. But when it comes to couples with a big spotlight on them, they know they they've been doing their thing. They have not had any controversy with anybody, including their kids either, and uh, including except for LeBron James' mom. But you know she's been, you know she has been doing anything for a while. But that's what she kind of does if you look at his bio and how she reared him up. But you know. LeBron is a family man. He's a family guy, you know. But <laughs> Diddy has been known for violence and sex on TV, literally with his freak offs. So you have to wonder if LeBron is in these, and he shouldn't be, right? Because again, the his Diddy's house got raided because he's been trafficking uh, women for a while, and because he has like. Um, been recorded as taking a lot of drugs at these parties and everything. He also has a lot of illegal substances there, which means that he's not only, not only been trafficking, uh, you know, adult workers, but he probably has been trafficking drugs as well. So 
we had the question, LeBron, you know, I know you party with celebrity, you hang with dudes like Jigga and stuff, but Diddy, he, this is what goes on at his parties. You know, sex goes on at his parties and drug use goes on at his parties. So if you're at his party, I'm not saying you would do either one of those, but you're basically one of the people that can, that everyone has to say yes to. I, I haven't, I don't know what LeBron have, would have done, but you know, when you have a guy like LeBron, who's supposed to be an all-star of a man, <clears throat> when it comes to family and values, for the most part, then you have to really think about it. If he's there, who else is there? Because I don't, I have not heard any names yet. There have been a lot of, uh, there's been a lot of talk, hello. There's been a lot of, that was my neighbor. There's been a lot of talks from some sources we know, like Casey or Cassie. And then there's also been talk from sources that we don't know, a lot of people that have said that um, famous dudes, R&B people, rap, rappers, you know, models and other kinds of musicians, CEOs, they've been involved in the freak offs. They themselves have done things Sometimes the women, sometimes the men, and vice versa. You know, I think I read one report where there's like, it's one of his producers and he made his producer live with him to solely produce for him for like, I don't know if it was years, but I think it was months on end. And the producer was getting assaulted by men and women. And he even, the producer even said that a couple of the people that assaulted him were high profile R&B and rappers, R&B musicians and rappers right so if these high profile guys are doing stuff that means there is a list there is a list of people that have been doing things with diddy and for diddy now remember if you don't know what the freak off is right because if you're kind of new to the whole situation well the freak the freak off is to me really the big core of this when you find people in the freak offs, you'll expose everything else but if you don't know, the freak offs is a, when Diddy, it's basically an orgy. Um, and either it's on one person or it's with everybody. But his girl, Cassie, he basically would drug her up, throw her on the bed, and let dudes come on in and watch. And I know he definitely participated. But again, I said that's kind of weird because I don't know why you would want to see guys with your girl. I can understand if you threw her to a bunch of women and you watched and you participated, but dudes? Why do you want to see her with dudes? Cause you like dudes. You know, that's how Diddy is. I mean, you, you know, I think he, he don't, I think he don't call some guy daddy on drink champs. And you know, Diddy has extremely effeminate behavior. He's always too excited. Men, you know, it's good to be excited but, but about stuff, but don't be like bubbly about everything. Don't, having high energy, no. You have high energy when you work and when you accomplish tasks and when you're dealing with kids and when you're loving your wife, but like, you know, don't ever be too bubbly. You have to be a bit calm and composed because you always got to keep your eyes out. But anyways, <clears throat> so speaking on that, uh, we know for a fact that in Hollywood, someone knows something about somebody else. There, there are no secrets in Hollywood. The only secrets are for us, the common folk. But for them people, at there's nothing you can do that someone either doesn't know or won't figure out, right? Because Diddy is so high profile. Not only does he know, you know, entertainers, but of course, being one of the guys that head of the label, he knows the label heads and he knows the admins and other executives. Not just of that, because, you know, he was with Ciroc. He also knows people in other big business and everything. And these people, I mean, they're part of the industry too, you know, and he probably knows some politicians gangbangers, all that stuff. There is a wide network. When, you, when you're when worth a billion, it's not so much you you have a lot of money, but more so you have, you have a lot of access to credit, you know? And in order to get credited, you need to be, <laughs> people have to evaluate you and people have to meet you. And that, because at these levels, it's not about applying, 
you know, on PayPal for $250 million line of credit. No, you have to go out to Turks and Caicos and you have to go into these banks and at the 80th Tower in New York or Miami. And you have to have relationships with these people. You got to get these people gifts. You got to throw them events. Sometimes you got to buy them an island. And Diddy is the kind of guy that does this. So we know that other celebrities know. We know that other executives know. All these people have, a, and I guess that's why things are kind of coming out about him now. But in my opinion, it's not enough. It's like with Jeffrey Epstein, you know, the Jeffrey Epstein book came out, right? And nobody questions it. I mean, people have, but like the media has not questioned it. Like, okay, yes, you may have gone to the island. That doesn't mean you did anything, but you have seen something, right? Yeah, because you've been on that island. So, and you would figure because Epstein was involved with, you know, who knows how many young young kids and adults and stuff, right? That someone has noticed something suspicious. And I, you again, ever since that book came out, you have not heard an interview or a peep from anybody listed on there. We're talking about the Clintons. I think the Will Smiths, uh, what was that? Chrissy Teigen and her man, you know, Barack Obama and them. You haven't heard anything from them people yet. So they just keep quiet about it. And also they deleted a lot of, not deleted, they confiscated a lot of, because you know, of course, they're gonna take whatever evidence that Epstein has that he could use for bribery. And they're, they're not gonna, why would they delete that? They're going to hold it to make sure everyone else stays in line. So whatever they have at Diddy's place, they're gonna hold and make sure they stay in line too. Because again, what a lot of these guys do is they record everybody doing all this crazy stuff. So yeah, he may be complicit in doing many things that are illegal, but once he got everything recorded, so are they. And that's like the big thing that does kind of keep a lot of people silent and everything. But I, I mean, I hope things kind of get exposed because um, I'm, I'm quite frankly sick and tired of celebrities and Hollywood being like, it seems to be the only place where we can never really, it seems to be the only place where everything is a cold case. You know, you, you've got decades upon decades of information of people being trafficked out there in the entertainment industry, drugs being trafficked out in the entertainment industry. Oh, let's not even get to all the amounts of fraud that's been out there. <clears throat> um, you know, the agendas that they use with the movies to push ideas onto us and everything and the mind control. You know, I, I get kind of tired of that because it seems like whenever you know a couple people get caught doing something it seems like it's just them they never expand on it because quite frankly the whole industry itself is corrupted and should not be working as it is today like i feel like the majority of people that work at these studios these corporations and stuff you know they they should be taken down like most of hollywood shouldn't even exist at this point because that's the that that's the scale of how many people are doing a bunch of legal activities and they're just going crazy out there. But you know whose fault it really is? It's our fault, the American people's fault. Cause see, our government, our government is really supposed to just regulate our decisions and how we do things. So if we wanna build places here, they're supposed to say, okay, well, we've studied this and we've seen that and maybe you should only build this here, use this material because if you do this, this might blow this up and do this up, right? So when it comes to how Hollywood works, we buy, of course, the government's working against us, but <clears throat> we buy into Hollywood so, because we want to be celebrities so, so bad that we always are turning a blind eye. Just think about the Boondocks episode with R. Kelly. That basically lets you know that if a person has a good amount of talent, then we forgive them and we just look at the talent. Think about Kendrick Lamar, uh, putting the crowns on his head and masquerading as, as you know him as Jesus, but I know him as Yahweh right? Uh, that's blasphemous as hell. And he didn't get no kind of kickback for that. Uh, no kind of scorn. And there are millions upon millions of Christians that was quote unquote Christians that would still listen to him, even though he basically blasphemed their, uh, their savior. And essentially, you know, as long as they really, as long as they really don't, condemn and uh what's it called rebuke him for that then they really don't believe that Yahweh is the savior because they believe that's a they believe kendrick is the savior and a lot of people do feel like he's like a quote-unquote savior of rap where j cole is kind of just boring and drake is just kind of lame kendrick is like the guy that always keeps it real 
or whatever. That's that's what we're dealing with because th it's a psychosis that millions of us are under. And if we really, really want these, if we really want this kind of stuff to stop on Hollywood and stuff, we gotta stop. We gotta stop buying the products because they're able to do what they do because they have so much money that they can hide everything and bribe everything and buy everything. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's really hard to compete with them when they can go to a random island in the middle of the night at any time of day and get out there in 15 minutes because they're on a private jet and then they can pay the police force to not, you know, go over there. Or if they go, then they're just protection and stuff like that. You know, so we start buying their music and we start watching so many of their movies. You know, wait till it comes to Tubi, I don't know. You know, like they, they just wouldn't have the power to do this stuff and the cracks would start to form. But but at the same time, you are seeing the cracks start to form because to a degree, they are losing a lot of money. If you look in the Hollywood space, they're making too many, too, most of these movies are just not turning the kind of profits they used to and they shouldn't. And with the music, streaming is getting a lot of companies a lot of money, but it's, it's, it's putting too much pressure on the artists and their, their overhead is starting to be, it's, now their overhead is starting to become too much because the artists can't make enough, you know, the, the end. And when the artists can't make enough money, then it really is just going to degrade the product. And eventually the money is going to start coming in the way it's supposed to. <clears throat> Even looking at the video game industry, it takes it costs more money to make a video game than a movie, and that kind of doesn't really make any sense because video games there are almost all, most of the video game is essentially the virtual effects department at, at a movie theater. But it's because they keep they keep like they they basically film video games now. If you look at a lot of a uh, Sony, right? They basically it's basically like a film. They basically film out a video game, make it like a movie, and then add in where you can control it and stuff. But beyond that, now that all that all that entertainment is becoming so expensive, so costly, and a lot of times the talent is leaving, and a lot of times the work isn't made artistically, it's just made fiscally, you know, people are selling each other out. That's why I think it's starting to happen. Uh, they know where this economy is going, and people are getting desperate. People need money. Some people need publicity. Some people have also been portrayed, like for example, these contracts, some people are probably getting contracts that they never thought in their lifetime they would ever get because these are the kind of contracts that they were supposed to get back in 2001 where they were eating breadcrumbs with the pigeons. You know, now, because the the, comp the whole, uh, the whole corporate, whatever, the whole economy of the entertainment is starting to come in. Now these people are like, okay, I ain't getting paid what I'm supposed to. It looks like my career is over. I'm just gonna say what I'm gonna say. They're like the Will Smith guy uh, that told about Will Smith uh, getting in carnal relations with an R&B singer and everything like that. And people just ignore what he said, but it's like, uh, we need to, you know, there's, there's just, we just need to do more. We need to ask more questions. We're not asking enough. We got to stop letting the news stations ask all the questions. Stop letting Gossip Room <clears throat> ask all the questions. We need more people to figure out what's going on. But in the end, we need more of these celebs and these people in the know for real for real to just come out and say what's going on because until they do then honestly we just can never really find out but i just wanted to make this video just for you to kind of think to yourself like who who else is involved in all this because it can't just be diddy it has to be someone it has to be some of these other guys that control the whole aspect of our entertainment industry you know, they, there's an ecosystem that they run. There is a network of communication and relationships that they have. So we know that be, besides Diddy, there's someone else helping orchestrate the freak offs. There's someone else that they buy the freak off folks from. You know, again, they, you know, the trafficking, you can't do trafficking with two people effectively. You gotta have a whole web because if one person gets caught, that's a cover for another person. At the same time though, if one person gets caught, another gets caught. So we're waiting to see if another's gonna get caught or if this is a cover up. Who knows? Anyways, see you later.